and Joe Forte from Springfield, Virginia from the ACC. Here's how they went. Through the road to Albuquerque, Houston's win over Villanova and Kansas City. A final victory coming here in Lancaster, Gordon, and Louisville has the opening kick. Milt Wagner. Hakeem, the dream, has the first rebound, and that is an interesting start. I'm su I bet you Wagner's surprised he was so wide open for the jumper and lost a little concentration. Here's Alvin Franklin, who's done so well at freshman point guard, and he scores the first points of this game. Franklin's had only three turnovers in the five tournament games, had only 19 all year long since being a starter. And look at who's bringing the ball up to court, Rodney McRae. Leads the team in assists. Ian Scooter. There's the zone defense now by Houston. 2 3 zone. Elijah Wan down in the center of that zone. Now, sometimes he plays on the wing. And we noticed in the Villanova game, they had him on the wing with Nishaw in the center. A little change by Guy Lewis. Louisville, last time out, shot 82% in the second half of that win over Kentucky. They've been hot, particularly Lancaster Gordon. Solid Here's Wagner. That was a solid screen by Jones, and they threw the ball all the way across the zone. Here Bill comes the 2-2-1 press. Bill Wagner, the leading scorer for the Louisville Cardinals with a 14-point average. Here's Michael Young. You feel he's a real key to this team. Well, he is. He's the guy that they try to hit with the ball offensively against that press. Larry Misha, Drexler. That's what he does so effectively, a great sense of anticipation. And here's Houston putting on a little press of their own. Lancaster Gordon. Oh, is he hot? Everything he's putting up is going in now. Yeah, it's awful early to tell, but the intensity level of this game is kind of mild right now. These fellows really not going hard. They just settle down. They might be in awe of each other a little bit to see just how high up each other can go and then rebound it. Four apiece. Baseline pass to Young. Two air balls now by Houston. Here comes Milt Wagner. I recall last year in the Final Four, he had a virus of skin disease. There's a rejection by King. He led the nation in that department. Oh, here they go. Tipped up, and we're going to have a foul on Elijah Wan. And that Drexler walk, getting himself to that basket. Denny Crum did, too. He can't believe it. Watch his pass. One, two, on up. Got away with it. I tell you, he's so impressive, you forget to watch his feet. Louisville now with a chance to take the lead. We play in a minute and 15 seconds. Here's Houston coming out with a 2-2-1 press of the run. Reach in, back it out. Alvin Franklin, freshman from Lamar, Texas. He'll hold it up wisely off to Misha. Notice Elijah Wan made the steal and also was the first guy down court. There he is. A seven-footer trying to put the ball on the floor. He shouldn't do that. Blocked by Charles Jones. Here's a layup. Louisville a two-point lead. McKean put the ball on the floor, Billy. He hasn't been doing that a lot in the time. No, he really hasn't. He had a lot of room. I thought he'd take his turnaround jump shot. Drexler had a root canal done this week on one of his teeth. Says he has a very sore jaw. Here's Franklin. Now he's hit two of them now. That's an unlikely spot for this ball game. And also, another thing can happen, Gary. Players can lose their breath right here. They just get the anxiety level up so high for a game like this. Drexler led the team and steals, had one for a moment, but Gordon likes it back. Here's Scooter McRae, nice pass to Jones. He missed it, and it's going to go off of Houston. It'll be Louisville's basketball. Lajuan did a nice job getting his hand in the way of that stuff for Jones. Oh, this crowd. I don't know if they can keep this pace up. It's a deafening roar here at the start of the game. Gordon. He's a streak shooter. He had a slump in midseason, but he's going now. You notice how the Louisville press is kind of backing off early in the game. Michael Young, he's missed a couple early. Here comes Gordon. The officials are having a tough time coming back and forth up the floor. They're so quick right now. Gordon misses. Has his own. Blocked by Franklin. Young's got it. Here we go. Three on one. Drexler, nice pass to be shot. And that was Branch that came up with a block. I mean, Wagner, who came up with a block, came all the way across as a guard and got a hand on Mishaw's. Watch it right here. Mishaw going to get the ball back. Wagner, Milt Wagner, comes across, gets a piece of that ball and stops the gun. Larry Mishaw, Mr. Mean, he had 30 points in the last game. Neither team shooting all that well. 8-8 eight to eight our score, but oh, what a pitch this game has started at. 
I don't think either team has really gotten into the flow of the game yet. Today. They're just going a little wild. Guys are a little exhausted right now. That anxiety level up. Now you wonder about that high altitude, what it'll do in the pace of this game. Wagner connects 10-8, Louisville. Wagner with four points in the game. You have to remember, Houston's been blowing people out of here. And this is the kind of thing to get against somebody that can stay in the game with them and it has to affect them somewhat. They led the nation in scoring margin. Rex are missing. Akeem is there. It's going to go off of Louisville. And now the first substitute of the game, Reed Geddes, number 44, will come in. Young will come out. Young didn't seem to have his shooting touch. No, he really didn't. And uh, I think they'll settle down. So far in this ball game, Louisville a little bit more in pace than would be the case for Houston. And there's going to be a foul on Jones. Now, one reason they brought Reed Geddes in, Billy, is he had a baseline play, and they always bring him in to inbounds the ball no matter what time of game it is. And but normally they take out Franklin. Denny Crum really annoyed at his players, allowing an inbounds pass to be thrown that close to the hoop. Jones, his first foul, second team foul against the Cardinals. There it is to Drexler, set play. Michaud occupied three Louisville players, and Drexler came right in behind him. Denny Crum's got to be upset with that. They already have been tied five times in this game. There's the press. Doug Wagner. Look at that. Akeem went high, intimidated it. Comes down with a rebound. That's what's so tough. He beat Drexler on the drive, but there's Akeem waiting on him. Franklin's hit two. Rebound, and we're going to have a foul. No, no I think it went over the basket. Right. It's out of bounds. It'll be the Cardinals' ball. The crowd, for the first time, just caught their breath, didn't they? And I think the players will, too. There's that half-court trap by Houston. Shot a lot of quickness, and you've got a keen back there in case anything comes through. There's a foul on Misha. He and Rodney McRae had a collision on that play. Well, one of the things that Houston will find out about Louisville early is that Louisville will not be intimidated inside. They will take it to Louisville as far as going for the basket. You know what they say? The Louisville players are saying we get more shots blocked in practice than any opponent is blocked. So they are not intimidated by this five slamma jamma team. Rodney McRae, two free throws coming. Remember, this young man was the starting center on the team that won the national championship when he was a freshman, made all NCAA tournament team as a freshman. His brother Scooter didn't get to play that year due to a knee operation, so he'd like to be in on a title team. Rodney missed him both, and that might be, again, the pace of this game affecting the free throw shooting. Mishaw missed one, and now two by Rodney. Straight man to man by Louisville. Yedis, number two in the Southwest Conference, and assists in Akeem. Comes up with a basket, his first. And a good job by Louisville to break right out of that made basket. Reach hit by Mishaw. There you have Houston back in his zone. So Louisville playing a man-to-man, -man, Houston playing the 2-3 zone. Milton you know, Wagner will reset it. What a great second half he had against Kentucky. He finished with 18 points. You see, Gary, what they do, they take their two guards and they play kind of behind each other on that side. Jones. Charles Jones ties it up again. 14 minutes to go in this first half of play. One of the things the Eagle does so well, they pick up the zone press and then they drop back to man-to-man -man and never seem to get caught in it. Here's Geddes. Brings it out to Franklin. Akeem wanted the ball and he's going to do something with it. That's going to go off. Out of Louisville. No, check it. Houston. We're going to have a break in the action now. Michael Young will be coming back in. 13 minutes, 48 seconds left to play in the first half. In their game yet. I think it's kind of like a heavyweight boxing fight where they're going to take it a couple of rounds to get themselves organized before they uh, they really get into the flow of the game. Here you see Rodney McRae again playing back in the backcourt because Denny Crum figures when they press, that'll leave Wagner open for the jumper, and there it was. Wagner usually hits those. Rebound by Larry Michaud. Geddes will bring it up. There's no press in the country that doesn't allow you to get that shot from the corner, and that's why Denny Crum has inverted McRae and put him back there. Okay. Nishaw, if they play in front of him, they throw the lobs in, they play behind, he shoots the turnaround jump. Tough to handle. 14 to 12, the Cougars by two. Lancaster Gordon, Akeem almost got that one. And now Gattis has it. Akeem off with the shot, Gary, you're on the money. Average eight blocks a shot, or eight blocks a game, this Houston team, and they're going to be right on target again. Gettis in the ball game with 203 assists and only 54 turnovers. Boy, I don't have 
Drexler did that. There was no place to go, and he has six points. Charles Jones, very slow getting up, coming down the court a little slow. He was coughing a while ago and breathing very heavily, Jones was. He, he has had asthma. He's got an allergy yep. problem. He takes shots for it, and he looks tired, Bill. Look really at him at the free throw line. He really is. He's trying to get his breath breathing very deeply. This is the first four-point lead of the game now, enjoyed by Houston. Louisville going back to their half-court offense. Oh, wow. Jones. Oh, that was something. Jones went baseline. Scooter filled his spot. 16-14. Houston with a 25-game winning streak. And Elijah Warren on a push-off. He pushed off on Jones. That is his second personal foul. And Jones is telling Denny Crum he's got to come out of there. He is really hurting, Billy. I noticed it during a free throw. He was standing at center circle. You can imagine at this altitude, if you have an allergy on top of that, how difficult it is. Billy Thompson will come in for him. And still, Milt Wagner and Lancaster Gordon down on the corners. The reason they can play down there is Rodney McRae capable of handling the ball up top. And a lot of people feel that Jones is a key to this game. Now, how many minutes is he going to be able to play? Well, he's still bent over there, holding his pants. You can see him just trying to get his breath. Maybe that's why Louisville is going into a little delay here, to let him get his breath before they go in their offense. Houston backing up that zone now. They're playing way back inside the foul line. 11.28 to go, first half. The winner of the first game, North Carolina State will play the winner of this one. I look for Bill Wagner, look for that jump shot if they're going to back in that zone that far. Here's Scooter. Rebound, his brother Rodney lost it, got it again. Rejected by Akeem. Michael Young, beautiful pass. Drexler with eight impressive points in this game. And by moving Akeem Olajuwon right to the center of that zone, you see how effective he is blocking the shot even after you get by the first man. Wagner, Bentley from outside. You're going to have to stop the clock while they retrieve the ball. And also coming in, we're going to have Benny Anders, Billy Thompson, and Jeff Hall. Now, here it is. Olajuwon went over to try to alter that shot. Rodney McCray with his great hands. Now, see, he gets over Mishaw, but Olajuwon is standing behind her, blocked it with a man in between he and the shooter. Well, you pointed out he blocks more of his shots coming across many times, not on his own man. From the weak side, because as the shooter, you don't expect him to be there. Well, now, as we mentioned, a couple of substitutions. Here's one of them, Benny Anders, who's been instant offense for him this year. And there's the other substitute, Billy Thompson with a rebound. Nice push off by Billy Thompson without committing the foul. Went up with his body well. There's the third sub, Jeff Hall. So both the sixth and seventh men for Louisville are freshmen coming off the bench. And even though it's the final four, don't be surprised to see Hall put up his jumper early. He's like Anders. He can't hit that jumper. There's a reach in, almost taken away by Franklin. He did get it away. He got it away from Thompson. Three turnovers now against the Cardinals. Drexler wanted the lob. Franklin's playing well, isn't he? Alvin Franklin now was six. Four point lead again for Houston. Well, the Houston point guards have been maligned all year long, but I think Guy Lewis is getting great play out of them. He uses three different people, gives them a minutes of playing time about equal, and they all contribute to the club. Franklin's the most sought-after player in the state of Texas last year. Here's Jones. We thought he might come out of there, but he's staying in the ball game. Well, by slowing the game down a little bit to give Charles Jones a chance to get his breath. Now Scooter McRae is bent over, trying to get his breath. Here's Hall. What a shooter he is. Little two sharp on the angle. Jones hustles it in. Charles Jones now with six. It's a two-point lead now. Isn't it interesting, even after Louisville scores, they can't get their press to take anything away from Houston. I just wonder if this attitude, they can maintain it. Here's Anders. Power move. Rebound, Billy Thompson. Thompson to Hall, and that's thrown away. A little bit of inexperience right there. Hall should have been looking back for that ball. Billy Thompson coming out quickly. There's Hakeem on the bench, sitting down with two fouls. Timeout, 9.08 to go in the first half. Two-point lead by Houston. Well, not only collegiate ranks, but also in the professional rank. Two eventual Hall of Famers, I'm sure. Houston has never won a national semifinal game, even though they have been to the Final Four under Guy Lewis four times. Here is Young, and Young now, the Young we remember. That's some spin around. 
Houston shooting 50% from the field. Louisville 45. Anders goes for the Dang steal. Dangerous pass. Milt Wagner. Boy, he is tremendous from the outside. Here's Young again. Big transition. Again, that's what we talked about last week. When a team's going to pick up that zone press, you throw over the top of it. And for Houston, they've got some fellas that can really catch that long pass. Franklin going for the steal. Wagner, people flying around before him, in front of him, behind him, and he still gets it in. Two-point game again. 24-22, Houston. Nishaw now down on the other end of the floor. You've got Franklin, Young, and Drexler, who can all throw that ball over the top of the press. Drexler's the guy that really initiates what they do against the press. I thought Denny Crum made a good point when he was talking with Brent that the point guard really isn't the problem. It's Drexler. Going to go off to Louisville. Now substitutions. Elijah Warren will come back in. So will Reed Geddes. Nishaw, Franklin will come out. Now the bench of Houston might be as deep as anybody. They call them the cavalry, and they may need them today. Remember the last time they get the ball out of bounds, they set up the out of bounds play, and here it comes again for Drexler coming across. Reed Geddes again, the man they want to bring it in and dead. There he is. 203 assists and he only averaged 22 minutes a game. And Louisville's in a zone. You don't see this often. That's what's tough is get the ball in against this Louisville team defensively. Nice drive. Wagner's tied it up. Boy, is Wagner having an outstanding first half. He has 12 points. Elijah Warren was coming behind him, but he was too late getting there. Now the press starting to close in a little bit. Here's Michael Young. Oh, time to follow was Drexler. Here comes Jeff Hall. I think that basket should have counted because the backboard was slammed. And we're going to have a foul on Benny Anders of Houston. I think you're right. There was a hand up no, against no the glass. They came down and slammed the backboard. We might get a chance to see it. Billy Thompson pushed against the board while the ball was up there in the cylinder. I think that basket should have counted. Good camera work and the good eyes there, Mr. Packer. And Anders committing a personal foul at the line. McCray, two points. He's all two, though, from the free throw line. And he's now 0 for 3. Now, for the year, Rodney is shooting 78%. Rodney gets a lot of palm on his shot when he shoots. And uh, right today, with the sweating a little bit more than normal, maybe a little bit tired, not getting a good touch. Hit that one. It's a one-point lead now for Louisville. 25-24. Houston almost showing disdain for this press. Their fellas running all the way down the other end of the court saying we're going to throw it long if they try to collapse on it. Seems to be the kind of press, though, that sooner or later gets the job done. Here's Drexler. Difficult shot and tipped up and in by Keem. Did you see that? I, I thought that Rodney, Mc, I mean, that Scooter McRae got a pretty good piece of that ball. In any case, it'll be a Keem's field goal. Here's Jeff Hall. Maybe the best shooter that Denny Crum has had. And not afraid to take it from the corner. The Cardinals by one again. Now you see that Houston sends two men long against this press, and Louisville has to respect that. There's Benny Anders. He had 18 points and a big one over Arkansas this year. He's not hitting now, though. He has his own rebound, and he is hammered by Billy Thompson. Anders is so quick with that ball. Benny Crum, he's been here three of the last four years, one in the 1980s. Larry Mishaw coming back into the ball game. Mr. Mean, he shaved his head a couple of times, Billy, so he'd look meaner. But he has not done it this year. A lot of people asked about those tattoos on his arms. Those are tattoos that uh, he put in there as a kid growing up. It was part of the mark of the neighborhood. Rexler sitting down. Benny Anders out of Bernice, Louisiana. The instant offense guy for him. And he's tied it up, and it's what's it's going to stay. Scooter McRae. Oh, what a pass. Nope. And as tough as every possession is going to be in this game, you can ill afford to throw that kind of ball away. That's five turnovers now against Louisville. Jeff Hall just couldn't get to it. And Charles Jones and Lancaster Gordon sit down for quite a few minutes right now. See how long it's going to be before they get back in there. Here's Young, a little bit of difficulty, gets it off to Mishaw. What oh. helps Houston is being able to come up with big people. That's a double team by the freshman. And normally Mishaw wouldn't get that ball taken away from him, but good quick hands. As strong as he is, too. That's right. So they, come, they come meet the ball with big guys. Hard to take it away from him. Mishaw nails it. 
He led the Southwest Conference in field goal percentage this year and the two previous years. Here's Scooter. He has a bat in the leg. Boy, is this something. Look at the hustle by David Rose. And a foul is coming up. And again, Gary talking about that Houston bench. They're coming in with a lot of fresh people. Rose always a hustler. McCray committing the foul, his first personal foul. Billy Thompson with that pass, realizing that Scooter McCray was coming in behind him. But there's Akeem again, taking away any opportunity to get up an easy shot. 25-year-old David Rose, who went on a mission and came back to play. Charles Jones now has come back in. That shows you how tough this game is, the way he went after that ball. Now Louisville switching just about any time. you got McCray on Dennis. Young, he shies inside, he goes after it. Out of there comes Wagner, and he's fouled by Rose. Look at this. This now shows it. you the altitude problem. There's the oxygen coming into play, and that was a case where Wagner got very lucky there. He put the ball down, tried to take off, and the foul was committed. Normally, you put the ball down that quickly, and you get it stolen. First foul on Rose, and that is now team foul number five against Houston. Here comes that half-court trap. Oh, good catch by Hall. He Ball, was, a hand on Ball was tipped, and he still was able to hang on. 527 to go, first half. Wagner again, and Wagner with 14 points. Of all the players on the court, Wagner looks to be the one that's not affected by the altitude. He hasn't affected his shooting anyway. They almost didn't get that ball in. Yeah, he's breathing normally. He seems to be making good adjustments. Kenny Crump feels his team's as good a shape as anybody, and they can come 40 minutes at you. They're going to have two today. Good play by Jones. Wagner back to Jones. Fouled. Dennis committing the foul. Now, by running the length of the court there, watch how tired Jones will be when he comes back to shoot the foul shots. That was a good foul by Dennis. Smart foul. And now Lancaster Gordon will come back in for Louisville. 16 foul against Houston. Leah Charles trying to get his breath. And he has just come back into the ball game a minute or so ago. And he bends over. This guy is ambidextrous out of Scuba, Mississippi. Has a younger brother, Kent, on the team. He has played so well in the big games this year. And that's what you were talking about, Billy. No form at all on the shot. Louisville now is one of five from the free throw line, and they are a good shooting free throw team. Houston is not. He gets this one. Three-point lead. Charles willed that one into the game. There's a timeout. 4.59 remaining until halftime. Second rank Louisville with the lead. Flow of the half-court offense on the part of either team. Here's Geddes. Five seconds. He batted it off of a player and then stepped in and got the ball. That was a heads-up play. Off to David Rose. That was quite a play. And he is fouled. Billy Thompson, he felt that he'd been pushed off by Rose, doesn't get the call. By the way, Gordon got hit in the eye. I don't know what this is all about. He seems to be okay. Mike Astor Gordon is a guy that has that great vertical leap, and when you try to throw over his head on the press, he can go up and get it. He got it, but wasn't enough. Billy Thompson committing his second personal foul. Five team fouls against Louisville. 32-29, the Cardinals leading the Cougars. And they stay in the 2-3 zone in the out-of-bounds situation. Wexler. Nice job by Billy Thompson, realizing the key was behind him. Rose, he may be one of the better shooters from outside. Not this time. Wagner. Lancaster Gordon. Excellent fast break by Louisville. And now a 34-29 lead. Gordon has checked that with six points. Here is Bishaw. You notice again, Drexler just threw the ball right over the top of the press. He just seems to have the entire court presence of where everyone is, and there was a good example of it. Broken up, Drexler. Number three in the country in steals this year. Well, Keen handling the ball. He shouldn't be, but he was. And he's fouled. That's a reach in, but not a bad foul again. Wagner a little tired. Then he comes saying people are walking. Yeah, he thought a key might have. That's the second foul against Milt Wagner. Now there you see all three of them with the old uh, telltale sign bending over, holding their pants, including Drexler, who is as in good a shape as any athlete you'll ever see. A key not a good shoot, free throw shooter, shooting 59%. About the only thing you can find about his game that isn't good. And that's improving too because he has a nice release on this shot. I think in time would be a pretty good free throw shooter. Shooting 62% for the field. That was 18th in the country this year. He has seven points, and it's a two-point game. 
And now Houston coming out, trying to pick up their half-court pressure. Rodney always seemingly finding the open man. Wagner, he's missed a couple of times. Young bats it out of bounds. Good call by the official. Young did hit the ball, even though Guy Lewis didn't like it. It was a good call by the official. Guy, 61 years old, two weeks ago today. You know, a lot of people would not realize, Gary, that those Elvin A's teams did not make it to the championship game. Oh! Rodney almost had the slam. He put, he put an extra rocket booster on that leap because he really hadn't timed it to be that high. Boy, these two teams can backdoor you like that in a rather spectacular fashion. 34, 32, 320 left, first half. Wagner, a team of the block. Oh, I'm sure Denny Crump wants a goal 10 on that one. He sure does. Here's Drexler. He's fouled. The basket will count, and Thompson fouled him. Oh, was he strong? That was blocked. Billy Thompson's still down. He can't believe. you got to remember, this kid last year was in high school, and there he is in the Final Four, and he went up there against an outstanding athlete and almost made an incredible block. And that was his third foul. Denny Crum is really upset. Now, here you go. Let's see if this is goaltending. The ball definitely on the way down. Should have been two on the other end. Akeem got a piece of that. No call. Now we go this way. Billy Thompson trying to time it. Goes up. Commits the foul. Going to be two shots. He still made that shot even though it was blocked. Rexer. And it's all even 34 all. We said there's some great athletes out here. There's a steal attempt by Drexler. Always seemingly going to those wing areas. Trying to come up with the ball. Less than three minutes to go. We have our 10th tie of the game. This game is living up to our expectations. Look at this. That's Billy Thompson after that movement all the way up and down the court. Needed the action. Wagner again. Milt Wagner. 16 points. Milt looked like he just rolled off the sofa. I mean, he is so cool out here in this game. Not breathing hard at all. Well, some guys are affected more by altitude. Let's face it, maybe he's not. Here's Nishaw. Nice body control, followed by Akeem. Saved by Franklin. Wait a minute, a whistle and a foul on Nishaw. Reaching in. Great rebounding job by Jones. That's the second on Nishaw. Elijah one again crashing from the outside almost dumped that on the missed shot. Can you believe at one time some of his buddies in the neighborhood used to pick up and pick on Misha? I would doubt they'd fool with him now. There there was Elijah one almost got that and that was with the left hand and there was the reach in by Misha. Misha used to get beat up all the time. His dad said he finally got tired of it and did something about it. The Cardinals by two. Good follow through by Jones with the feet. You know, you shoot the ball with your hands, but if your legs are in good balance, they can will some in, and that's what happened on that last shot. Chance to give him a four-point lead is Jones, and he does. 38-34, 2.27 left. What a fast half this has been. Here comes Young. Young showed us great moves in the open court area last week against Villanova, doing it again. He's been the clutch performer for him. Here's Akeem. He's not going to put it on the floor this time. Altered that shot right over Stewart. Nine points for the seven-footer. Two-point lead again for Louisville. Wagner right. to Scooter. His first two points of the day. Here's Misha. A little short. Jones has it. <laughs> what a game. And Castro almost didn't bring the ball with him that time. You don't see a lot of X's and O's out here in this game. These are just athletes going after each other. Scooter has walked to the ball. Benny Anders will come back in for Houston. That's eight turnovers now against Louisville. Anders in and going out is going to be Misha. So, Gary, you set up all the offense and defense that you want to, but with these athletes are just going right by each other, going up over each other. Here comes another play. Scooter with the steal, and we have a technical on Guy Lewis. He threw the towel on the floor. Hank Nichols making a call. 139 left in the first half. I would think I'd want to throw a towel, too, one time or another if think I was a coach. A second. He threw it out there. He only gave up one point. Of course, they are going to get the ball out of bounds, and it was an automatic two on the other end. Here we see. There comes Scooter, making the good steal. You see the towel come probably right in front of the camera as he goes by. There it is. <laughs> didn't bother Scooter a bit. <laughs> he didn't even know it was there, did he? And good piece of officiating right there by Hank Nichols. 
I guarantee if this game was being worked by two officials, he would notice it. So they're getting the court coverage because there are three officials working the game. Here's Milt Wagner being pressured, has to get rid of it to Rodney McRae. Got a little four-corner set up right there by Louisville. Well, you just can't put the ball on the floor against these guys. And he, Anders was out there. Now Louisville a little bit out of sync here with Charles Jones handling that ball in the middle. Louisville shooting 54% in this first half. Houston 47. Scooter was often uh, counted on maybe to play a little point guard of his own. Can definitely handle that ball in the center. Louisville maybe holding for the last shot here. Pretty good move. Wagner, they're awfully close to that line. Nice job by Rodney McRae. Catches it and makes the pass right up in the air. Less than a minute to go. First half. That's the guy I trap right there, Charles Jones. He lost the ball out of bounds. There was no whistle, so the ball went off of him. Well, Jones is, was the weak link in that ball handling scheme right there, and Benny Crum telling him about it as he goes by. Nine turnovers, but that's been a problem all year against this Houston team. They have forced those turnovers. Jones getting down underneath Elijah Wan. Now they're double Anders. teaming on him. And Caster Gordon giving chase on Franklin all. What a shot that's going to be. Rebound inside and out of bounds. It'll go to Louisville. Now you see Louisville hold this one for the last shot. And I would imagine Charles Jones is trying to stay away from the ball here. You see the time left on the screen. They've got Jones all the way down in the corner. Now the 20 seconds. Rodney McRae doing the wise thing. Now Louisville's packed back in a 2-3 zone. Lancaster Gordon or Milt Wagner trying to get this one off. Franklin trying to draw the foul. Seven seconds. Over Akeem, he changed the shot. Jones is there. Blocked by Akeem. A one-man defensive show. They're not going to get a shot off. Good execution by Louisville. Made sure the opponent did not get a chance to score. Elijah on with two blocks. And we have come to the halfway point of this national semifinal game. He just doesn't seem to be affected. He's breathing normally. He looks normal. All the other fellows really gasping for breath. Only guy in foul trouble is Billy Thompson with three. Akeem had a big first half. Nine points and seven rebounds and four block shots. Here he is with the ball. And he tried to put it down again, and he's fouled. That was reaching in from the opposite side, Lancaster Gordon. That's Louis his first. Louisville showed a 2-3 zone to start the second half. I don't think that they'll stay in that. I think Denny Crum just wanted to throw him off stride. Let's see. This Houston team way below their seasonal field goal percentages. Reed Geddes will come in, and guess why? They're going to hit bounds on the baseline. That's right. Actually, he's in there in 10 seconds. And it comes to Mishaw. Makes it look easy. Mishaw brings it outside. This team led the Southwest Conference in field goal percentage this year. Mishaw in trouble, he's tied up, and it'll go to Louisville this time on the alternating held ball. Well, you can see the great strength that time by Mishaw, but still it was a held ball situation. So the arrow will point the other way the next time as we're just underway in the second half of play, a five-point lead for the Cardinals. That's not a bad statistic, is it? Well, they haven't lost very much anyway, so... Uh... They're usually ahead in any kind of ball game they play in. They've lost three. 32 and three coming in here. Here's the man to man now played by Houston. Lancaster Gordon. Caught He's got the trap on team. him. Gets Good. it off to Rodney. Great catch. That ball was thrown down by his ankles. He still got it. That was Franklin who reached in and batted it away. Ten turnovers now against Louisville. Franklin almost walked with it. Franklin's played with more confidence here than we saw him in the Midwest Regional. Five to glide, Drexler, 10 points in the first half. Rebound, tipped off to Akeem. Made a tough shot out of it. Drexler hustles the boards, so it'll count, he's fouled. You will very seldom see Louisville get in a situation where the other team gets four tries. Here goes the shot up, that's one. Ball gets loose, Young does a great job getting it to Akeem. He takes a tough shot. Here comes another opportunity, and there's the fourth one going up by Drexler. Jones committed to foul his second. Drexler makes it a three-point play, and right now we have a two-point game. Houston picking up their defense much higher now. Drexler on Rodney McRae. There's a reach in on Misha, trying to intercept that pass in Jennifer Scooter McRae. That's three on Misha, so he's the second player in this game to pick up his third personal. And that's that Louisville high-low post. 
They run it so well, get the excellent bounce passes. Wagner, he was 8 of 14 in the first half. Franklin, 3 on 2. The Misha, nice catch by Misha, and he converts it. How about his strength? That was not only a tough catch, but he had to pull it away. And all of a sudden, a five-point game is all even. Here's that high post, Charles Jones at a high post. 11th tie of the game. Jones against Akeem. Misha's foul from behind by Scooter McRae. Denny Crum is soon going to have to call a timeout. The pace has changed. Momentum has swung. They're challenging Elijah on inside. Well, he gets a piece of this ball. Jones goes up. He got a little piece of it. Jones had to alter the shot. And there again, Houston just surrounding the ball on the boards. They dominating like, the boards in the second half. They'd like to get Elijah on in foul trouble. He has two. And it goes to Akeem. Here's Misha. Up to Michael Young. He's wide open. Momentum is swung. Denny Crumb's got to get a time here. 41 points is what they had at halftime, and that's where they are right now. Trailing by two. That's off of Lancaster Gordon. 11 turnovers against Louisville. Louisville's kind of lost the bow. And Houston getting back in a half-court game. They're able to set down, get Elijah Wan low. Louisville still hasn't scored at the 17-41 mark of the second half. And Louisville going back to the man-to-man. -man. The zone just didn't work out. Franklin penetrating. That will count or not? They're okay. calling the foul, I believe, before the shot. Let's see. Will it, Milt Wagner guilty of the foul? And we're going to have a timeout called. The shot following after the foul. A timeout. Houston has come out of the dressing room here in the second half and have taken a two-point lead. Houston has outscored Louisville 7-0 to take a two-point lead. Yeah, Mishaw came out and got that ball against the pressure. Reed Geddes brings it out to Mishaw. Tipped out. Everybody was in the air for that rebound. Rexer comes up with it. Michael Young, they respect that corner shot of his. They've got Rodney McCray on him. Denny Crum wanted to make sure Young doesn't go ahead and get out of the box here. 17, 17 left in the game. Akeem brings it out to Geddes. Notice how Akeem is being very patient in there, not taking bad shots. Oh, it's blocked by Scooter. He pulled it off. It's deflected by Drexler. Here comes Lancaster Gordon. Rodney McCray, the brothers did it that time. Denny Crump called a wise time out there, slowed that momentum down, got his team reorganized. First points of the second half now for the Cardinals. Oh, intercepted by Milt Wagner. You won't see Dennis do that often. 43 all, Rodney again. McCray scores his second consecutive basket. And coming into this game, he had only three points in the first half. Here's Dennis coming back down. His Unwise pass kind of caused some trouble for Houston there. So that 7-0 run now is ended. Misha scores. How about the basket? It's going to be a charge. No, they waved the basket off. Misha instead has picked up his fourth personal. That really hurts Houston. We'll see the pass going on the inside. Excellent backdoor cut. Misha goes up. He did make contact before he released the shot. Excellent call. And again, his fourth foul. And again, the basket did not count. His teammates now trailing by two with 16-20 to play. Misha has fouled out of two games so far this year. But he got in foul trouble in one of those Midwest Regional games. Played with four fouls for a long time. Well, it helps to have a key behind him. He doesn't have to play that real tight defense, because even if his man drives by, he's got the shot blocker behind him. Wagner gets it. Milt Wagner with 18. Now a four-point lead. And the press is really pulled up now. And Louisville dropping it back. I think sometimes they play it like an accordion, just to let you think you've got an opening. Young handling the ball so well. Franklin, they're going to let him shoot it. Hakeem and Jones, and it's off of Jones. Team that time. Did you see that, Billy, how well he timed these jumps? He certainly did, Gary. And the other thing he did well is not commit by going over the back and committing a foul. And that's a guy that's played basketball for four years. Here comes Geddes in, inbounds. Franklin sitting down so they can inbounds it. Here's Young. In a point game. Great release on that jumper. Remember, this fella has had some great second halves, going over 20 points in a number of games. He has eight points in this one. Since that timeout that Denny Crump called, Louisville has outscored Houston 6-2. Scooter. That'll count. 
But they, no, let's see. They're going to call charging. They will count the basket. Nice piece of officiating. One official looking to the other and saying, did the basket go? Hank Nichols is the guy calling it. Basket counts. The foul on Scooter McRae is his third. Here comes the drive by Scooter coming across the lane. Joe Nowelli uses the left hand, puts it up. The ball released. Then he makes the commitment. Gets, he commits the foul. Hakeem can't touch the ball. Basket counts. Foul the other way. Four-point lead now for Louisville. There's a foul on Rodney. Rodney McRae, that's only his first. He never seems to ever get into real foul trouble. You know what? A very smart player. Made the Olympic team in 1980. 16 fouls now against Louisville. Clyde Drexler coming back in. Mishaw will sit down. Franklin's in, and Geddes sets down. There's Mishaw playing with four personals. Geddes, the inbound specialist. Brings him in on the Young baseline. Wide open. What's happening on that? Well, Akeem is blocking out Jones on the side, and he can't get out there to get him. Akeem almost picked up a foul there. It's off of Akeem. Louisville with the four-point lead and the basketball. That timeout, you've got to go back to it. Denny Crum really slowed down the momentum. Houston now has missed their last four shots. Oh, good defense. Joe Wagner, Akeem got hung up in the air that time. He's going to be all right. He hits the deck. Here comes Jalen. Oh, he lost the ball. All by himself, the scooter. There, that was just a mental mistake by Houston. You can't afford to take off and let a man wide open there. They had five on four the other way. Biggest lead of the game now for Louisville. Rejected by Scooter, and Benny Anders saves it. Here we go to the other end now. Mel Wagner. And we're going to have a foul on Anders. That was that same man that dunked down the other end, came 90 feet, and almost made a steal. Anders, well, second foul, 13 foul against Houston. Denny, Denny's wondering what happened, but it is a foul on Houston. Tell you, if you take your eyes off of this court, they're up and down the floor four times. That's how quickly this game is going. 51 47, Louisville. Wagner, beautiful to Jones, he's fouled. He's going to be young. Beautiful dish by Wagner right there. Drove right into the middle of the lane. We'll see it inside. New Scooter going up, making the block. Andrews makes the dunk. And then we go the other way. Good lead pass. Houston has their back turned to the ball. Got a good move defensively, and the ball came the other way. That foul on Young, he's first. Team fouls now, four. And Mishaw back in the game with the four fouls on him. Jones has been at the line a lot in this game. He has 10 points. Looks like he's breathing a little bit better than he was in the it's, first half. He's four or five from the line. It seems like all the players have adjusted much better. It might have been an anxiety level, too, that they all had in that first half. Hyperventilated low. It was the first 47, and there's going to be a foul. That's going to be on Rodney reaching in. That's the seventh team foul. So they'll be shooting free throws. It's awful early to be in that kind of situation. We're going to go down the other end. You got 14 18 to go on the clock and being in one and one this early, but Houston not a good free throw shooting team So they not they might not be able to take advantage with what should be a very critical situation at the 14 18 mark Now this team for the year shooting 62 percent Michael Young, let's check him for 66. the year 66. That's one of the higher ones. He has eight points in this game three rebounds Michael Young should be a much better free throw shooter because he does have the good release on his jump shot. Misha almost was able to follow. Boy, Scooter's really playing well in the last two to three minutes. He was the guy that beat Arkansas, you might recall, that last second tip in the Mideast Regional. Jones open, there's the good pass inside. That's over everybody and in. Scooter McRae with eight points. Boy, they've turned this around now. Now the McRae brothers from Mount Vernon, just like the Williams brothers, playing very well. 55-47, Houston needed that one. Alvin Franklin, six-point lead now for Louisville. Wagner's been a little quieter in the second half. Franklin's really doing a job hounding it. Well, eight of 14 in that first half. Loses the ball, here comes Drexler, look out. Pass to Misha, I don't know how he caught it. The basket will not count, he's called for charging, he's fouled out of the way. Ball game. Well, he's really upset too. That was a tough pass for him to have to handle, Gary. You made an excellent point. And here's the steal down there. Drexler got a piece. 
Now he's coming. Now if you're Mishaw, you really don't want this pass. Because when it was thrown to him, he made a tough catch. And then he has to go right into the middle to commit the charge. So Mishaw fouls out with eight points at the 13-28 mark. And mark up on that scoreboard. Houston down six when he goes out. Now wait a minute. Mishaw's not leaving the floor yet. He does yep. have five. Guy Lewis is going to be sure, I think, before he gets him out there. Remember well, the game last have, week? Just Clyde say Drexler that. fouled out with six. They gave him an extra foul. Well, they played like NBA players. Maybe they thought it was NBA rules. So Mishaw will leave. <laughs> Vinny Anders will come in. Now, you got to remember, Misha is the senior, the only senior in the starting lineup, and he doesn't want his career to end now, and he has no way now of having an effect on that one way or another. A lot of time left in this one. Six-point lead for the Cardinals. Backdoor Jones, he's fouled. That will go on Young. Normally, that's an automatic, easy dunk for Louisville, but Houston right up there in the air with him. 16 foul, second foul on Michael Young. Timeout now, Guy Lewis. Houston with 13-18 left in the game. Trailing by six points after starting out the second half, seven to nothing. Seven to nothing and trailing by two have come back to take a six point lead. Now, we started play, but something's on the floor Looks and they're like gonna have to hold it up. You know, Gary, it's interesting. Of the four teams in the Final Four, not one of the four was in the top four in the polls at the start of the season. Louisville started out number five, Houston 11, State 16, and Georgia wasn't even listed. It wasn't until the 12th week that Houston moved into the number one spot, and that's the first time any of these teams, of course, were there. You were looking at Larry Misha a moment ago, who fouled out of the ball game just a moment ago. Milton Wagner, what a touch. See that follow through, just a perfect form. People in his face, he has 20 points. Now the press pick it up, 2-2-1. Two, two, Houston, the top ranked team in the country, a 25 game winning streak. Michael Young, rejected by Jones. Now Louisville getting a little respect for their rejection ability inside. Michael Young turned around in a shot. Lancaster Gordon out the scoot of McRae. Rebound to Keem. He's been quiet. Well, they haven't gotten in their half-court offense, so Akeem hasn't had a chance to touch the ball very much in offense. Oh, what a pass from Drexler. One-handed catch. Ten points now for Young. Six-point game again. And Louisville has a great delay game. One of the things, if you remember in our UCLA game, they hadn't worked on that much. Wagner misses, and Akeem now with two big defensive boards. He has 10 for the game. Another lob. Drexler, look out. They're making a comeback. Drexler with 15. And since Mishaw has gone out, it looks like there's a, a little different commitment on the part of the Houston players. Jones, reach in. Here comes Benny Anders. Jones is on his tail. Did you see Anders get an angle as he was going down there? He swerved out. Watch him right here. You'll see this angle, and Benny Anders will swerve out a little bit right here to get the angle. See that? And that gave him the angle to come in there for the dunk against Jones. Some move. Excellent camera work right there. There's the angle I was talking about. If he went straight on, he wouldn't have had the angle for the dunk, and Jones would have been able to get him. But by getting that little 45-degree cut, he was able to come in for the slam. Jones has committed his third foul. The free throw misses, but it's a two-point game. That six-point lead whittled down by four. They were down by six when Mishaw went out, but you can see the commitment on the part of his teammates. Not a senior out there. Houston is only three of nine for the free throw line, so their Achilles heel starting to show itself again. And Drexler holding Rodney McRae down very well. Rodney trying to get that ball. There's Young on Lancaster. Gordon Akeem helps out. Akeem going down for the ball. He's got it. He gets it off to Franklin. Comes Drexler. Franklin partially blocked in the foul on Milt Wagner. That's four on Wagner. Now Louisville getting out of their half-court offense. Just as Bobby Knight mentioned at halftime, 
It was a matter of Houston couldn't get in their half-court offense. Now it's Louisville being taken out of theirs. Jeff Hall will come in for Milt Wagner. Also another substitution, Rodney McRae's checked out. We have Billy Thompson back in. He's playing with three personals. There he is, 55, freshman out of Camden, New Jersey. Franklin. He's a 62% free throw shooter, but looked good on that one. And he can tie this game up at the 11.07 mark. Oh, what a game this is. And there's, there's Bobby Knight's man. He said they're not getting tired. <laughs> not getting uh, trouble getting their breath there. That's the 12th tie of the game. Houston picking up their man-to-man -man a lot better. They played zone the whole first half. In this man-to-man, -man, they've been much tougher. We saw that against uh, both Memphis State and Villanova, too, when they go man-to-man, -man, they can really play people. All coming off the bench, misses a shot. Boy, this has been a game of surges, hasn't it? Franklin pushing the ball down the court very well. Houston trying to take the lead for the second time in the second half. Blocked by Thompson. Akeem is there. He gets it up, and he's fouled. That's the fourth on Billy Thompson, but it's about all he could do. Boy, the depth of the benches might decide this game. Now, what is interesting about the fact that Houston has gone man-to-man? -man? When you go man-to-man, -man, you usually can block out much better. We'll see the play right there. There was a block by Billy Thompson. Then he comes over on Akeem, and this time he picks up a foul when he's trying to block. Four fouls on Thompson. You make it a point, Gary. When you play man-to-man, -man, you usually can be blocking out much better than you can in the zone. And Louisville has such great quick leapers that they re out-rebounded Houston considerably when Houston was in the zone. Now that Houston's man-to-man, -man, they're controlling the boards inside, primarily with number 34 right there, Elijah Warren. Now Thompson leaves the game with four fouls. Rodney McRae, you're looking at him, comes in. Akeem hasn't scored in this half, really. He has nine points for the game, 13 rebounds. And now he gets him a one-point lead, 58-57, ten and a half minutes to go. And here comes that man to man. They're really picking up the pressure now. Reach in by Anders. What a game he's played in the end. That's a new shot. Drexler, great speed on that play. Coming over from the weak side. And this man to man defense is really giving Louisville trouble. He had to change his shot in midair. 60-57, three-point lead now for Houston. Gordon. Hakeem is there. 14 rebounds for him. And here they go again. He's fouled by Scooter McGray, who caught him. He caught Young to keep him from hitting too hard. Or maybe they caught each other. We'll see it right here. Again, the man-to-man -man defense. This one, Benny Young coming out. Uh, Benny Anders coming out. Drexler is really motoring on the other side of the floor, and here he goes. Here's that change, and now look at the dunk. He was going in with the right hand, change it back to two. Unbelievable play. Now two shots coming for Young. That foul, by the way, on Scooter McRae was his fourth personal. Thompson with four, McRae with four. Young hits a free throw. They haven't hit very many of them. They before that shot were six of 13. Very seldom do you find a team with this kind of size that plays the zone that can then turn around and play man-to-man -man with this type of intensity. You talk about strategic timeouts. Guy Lewis called a timeout. Now they've outscored Houston 12 to nothing since that time. Outscored Louisville. I'm sorry. Earlier it was the other way around. Right. Crum called the timeout. Now Denny Crum right now has got to be careful. His team has had a hard time getting off any good shots. He's got Wagner on the bench with four fouls, and he's the guy normally that come in and take this big shot. This is the biggest lead of the game for Houston, who just moments ago trailed by six. Rodney McRae inside, and a foul. Let's see what goes on. Anders or Akeem? Anders really having a lot of fun out there. He's Didn't smiling. He? he just looses a goose. He came over for the game, slapped hands with us. That's his third foul. And he's trying to pick up where Mishaw had to leave with a fifth personal foul. Rodney McRae is down by 62-57 count. Eight points now for Rodney. Here comes Thompson in with four fouls. He's going to let Scooter sit down, who likewise has four. Well, I think that Denny's just trying to balance off the two players to keep them both rested and out of foul trouble if possible. Milt Wagner's got to be back in this game in another minute or so because they need his offense. McRae getting the first points. 
sets that strategic timeout by Guy Lewis. Rexer high with the rebound. He has five in the game. The most valuable player in the Southwest Conference. And he said he would have given the award to Darrell Walker if it had been his vote. 62-58, Franklin. He's playing the game of his life. He started off on a positive note. He's been playing that way all day. He has 12 points. He had a 50-point game in high school, Lamar, Texas. Steal by Young. Here we go. Look for Wagner back in this game shortly. Young couldn't have control, but Drexel does. No, Anders. Any Anders. 66-58. No Wagner on the sideline. Denny Crum going to call a timeout. Get Wagner back in this game. This has been a game of surges. Never have you seen a game turn around like this one has. Back and forth with 8.56 left to go. 66-58. Denny Crum and a tired Scooter McRae have us catching up to do. I don't think he <laughs> ever envisioned the game would be played above the rim the way it is today. Houston has outscored Louisville in the last four, 15 of play, 17-1. Drexler almost got a piece. He almost pulled it off. That's only his first foul. The thing that's amazing about Clyde Drexler, he's 6'7", he's got the perfect body of an athlete, and his first step is so quick, both offensively and defensively, he's almost going full speed the minute he takes that stride. Look at the rebounding edge in the second half. I remember the first half. And I think the reason for it is that in that man-to-man -man defense, Houston just does a much better job blocking out and going to the boards. Rodney McRae, eight points, three rebounds. He's only two of five from the line. Billy Thompson in the lane of Lilly. They don't get it. Akeem has it. Still has it. 16 rebounds. And if you're Louisville and you can't score, you have a hard time effectively using your press because you never have Houston taking the ball out of bounds. Neither team shooting well from the free throw line. Both of them are eight for 15. Drexler, oh, what a pass to Anders. McKean follows. How about Anders' hands inside to make that catch? A 10-point lead. Anders with 12. Billy Thompson, he's fouled. That's a good break for Billy Thompson because he was on the way up, almost got caught for a travel. That foul is on Anders. Now he has four fouls. But the bench is deep, Gary. It really is. Yeah, and we're talking about bringing in some quality players. Young is sitting down there. He's going to come in for him now. Thompson, and they've missed two important free throws here. Rodney McRae's got it. And a hell ball. It will go to Houston. Well, we saw that rule of verticality in the first half. I mean, in the first game today. Done very well by uh, Kozel McLean. And that time, it was Elijah Wan. Michael Young now coming in. Anders will sit down. There he goes. Boy, he ignited him when he was in there. What a job he did. Louisville trying to pick up a little more. Tight man to man. A 10-point lead for the top-ranked team in the country. Eight minutes left to go. Franklin just taking his man one-on-one. Oh. -on -one. Here's Young. Rebound, Thompson. Brings it out now to Wagner. And Caster Gordon. He's been quiet for a long time. Rebound to Keem again. He's got a fast break the other way. If he can get rid of the ball, he can. He's fouled by Gordon. That was the 18th rebound for Akeem Abdul Elijahwan. His, his biggest game of the year was against Utah. He had 30 points, 18 rebounds, eight blocks. And he just went crazy in that ball game. He had 22 rebounds, his high for the year. He may get that today. Well, three times this year, he's blocked shots to save games, winning shots at the end. He had four blocks in the first half. He has 18 rebounds, 12 points. Neither team built. Oh, Charles Jones just a little tired. Lost some concentration. Now it's a 12-point lead. And look at Rose playing some defense out here. He commits the foul, but he's showing some aggressive defense. Boy, he comes in and he plays hard. Second foul on Rose. Now Akeem's going to take his first rest. Coming in is going to be Brian Williams. There's Akeem. And Brian Williams, in the eyes of Guy Lewis, may be his best practice player. Oh, he's he devastating in practice. A deep 
deep, deep club and a very young team in Houston. Now that's only eight points for Lancaster Gordon. The way he started this game looked like he was going to have one of those great days. Well, how about the way the man-to-man -man defenses silenced Milt Wagner also here in the second half? Wagner, 8 of 14 in the first half. Gordon gets both of them. Back to a 10-point game. And right over the top of the press goes Houston. Michael Young. You, know, you don't think he's a very good ball handler when you look at him, but he gets the job done. I think he surprised you with the size. You don't know that he can control the ball that well, but as you said, Gary, he certainly has shown us in this season he can handle it. A little bit of trouble. Franklin. Franklin playing with all the confidence that we've ever seen him play with. Got Thompson out here on Drexler. Thompson with four fouls on him. Franklin started the last 17 games. Pass to Brian Williams. Well, got away with it. I thought he walked coming across the lane. Give the assist to Franklin. Wild point lead again. Time now starting to be important in this game. 6.50 left. And everybody said the point guard for Houston was going to be a problem. Here's Scooter McRae, wide open. Rebound, Gordon. Boy, he went up for the one. That would count, and he shot it. I think Williams had a hand on it. Well, without a team in there, you can see that Houston drops off quite a bit in regard to getting that man that stops everything in the middle. 11 points now for Gordon. Houston in the last six minutes, really playing remarkable basketball. They have outscored Louisville 23 to 5 in the last six minutes. Franklin, he's fouled. Now we'll go on Gordon. That's three on him. Houston sending everybody to the baseline, and Franklin's taking his man one and one. Very similar to what NC State does with Derek Wittenberg. And the winner of this game will be playing North Carolina State Monday night. Guy Lewis able to get a real nice rest now for Elijah Juan and Anders, who were so important in the big comeback. Franklin's high for the year was 14 points. He has 12 now. I mentioned him. He averaged at Lamarck, Texas last year 27 points. Tremendous set of legs on him. 73, 62. Gray in the jump, position on Williams, oh, over there. We're gonna have a foul now on David Rose over the back of Gordon. Lancaster Gordon playing down inside. I think we'll see Akeem coming back in the ball game. Try to get some more size there because Louisville's been getting a lot of second shots. Here come both of them. Right. You called it. Here comes Akeem with Anders. The bomber from Bernice, Louisiana is what they call Anders. Well, and the big man from Lagos, Nigeria. Well, Dale Brown doesn't have many kids leave Louisiana. But don't go to LSU, a team next year that's going to be a fine basketball club. Rose and Williams set down now. Gordon, 11 points. He's come alive now in the last two minutes. 10-point game again. Charles Jones over the sideline, breathing that oxygen. Denny Crum, I'm sure, wants him back in there as soon as possible. With Akeem back in the game, he needs that rebounding. Thompson and Scooter McRae playing with four personal fouls. Nine-point game. Anders also with four fouls. Lancaster Gordon trying to be wary of what Franklin can do. Yep. 21 points for Clyde the Glide. All-American is a junior. Bill Wagner, Bottle. Here comes Drexler again. Oh, watch this. Oh. Is there any doubt he can do it all? Here is Gordon. Off to Thompson. He's fouled by Akeem. That'll be three on Elijah on. Drexler put that ball behind his back, grabbed the rebound, threw the left-handed pass. What a break. 6-7, plays like a guard. It was funny, today uh, I talked to him about the abscess uh, tooth, the root canal that he had to have, and he said, nothing's going to prevent me from playing today. Boy, he's proved that. That's way behind him now. Here's Billy Thompson at the line. Considered last year's number one high school prospect. He's learning how to play forward at Louisville. Before he gets out of there, he'll be one of the greats in college basketball. That was his first point of the day. 77, 66, 520. The press, the defense is going to have to do it. Oh, he's going to win. Good job, Rodney. Rodney to Mel Wagner. And they'll make it 
gonna push. That's the first time today that really Louisville's press took the game away from Houston. We may have another surge taking place here. 22 points for Wagner. Alvin Franklin. beat the press and you have that big fella at the other end he's kind of like Ralph Sampson of Virginia anytime they beat him he was there for himself for his own Gordon had no place to go with the ball Thompson comes up with it and hits it nice play by Billy Thompson it's a nine-point game and again over the top of the press here's Drexel Good catch. he's fouled by Rodney that was a tough catch he made right there that's one of the reasons a lot of people think that he's going to challenge all the big people before he gets out of college now watch this the pass is really whipped cross court. He has to reach back, gets his hands on the ball, and then takes it up to the hoop. Did you see how Drexler stopped on a dime after he threw the ball to avoid a charge? 15 points now for Elijah on. 18 rebounds, five block shots. The most people heard uh, Guy Lewis talking about how Elijah Wan arrived on the campus. The fellow that deserves the credit is Chris Pond, who really is the fellow that brought him over from Nigeria. Ten-point game again. Rodney, I should say Scooter, that's goaltending. Scooter McRae will be awarded two points. Back to an eight-point game. Ten points now for Scooter. I think Elijah Warren just wanted to remind him he's back in the game. Danny Crowden says we win with defense. Can they do it again? And it comes to Michael Young. Drexler. And now they can make it a six-point game on this trip down the floor. Now, Guy Lewis has to be concerned about slowing this game down a little bit, and he's going to wisely take a timeout to readjust his ball club. What an effort. What a game we have with 4.26 left to go. And that timeout, I'm sure Guy Lewis wanted to tell his fellas, look, we're playing the clock as well as our opponent the rest of the way. Be a little bit more careful with that ball. 421 left, Billy Thompson into intended for Rodney McRae. It's off of Young. Thompson playing very well the last couple of minutes. Big basket, couple of free throws, trying to get the ball inside. And that was that high low post. Rodney McRae had his man in his back. Lancaster Gordon out to Scooter. Into Billy Thompson. He's fouled. It'll be Drexler his second. He thought he had it, but he got part of the arm. Came across to the weak side. Clyde Drexler's jaw is swollen a little bit. Remember last week it was Nishaw that had the problem with his tooth. Look at Reed Geddes. He's imitating Guy Lewis here. He needs a polka dot towel. And there's Nishaw sitting down there very relaxed. Has to be proud of his teammates. Thompson hit his last two at the line. He now makes it a seven point game. Denny Crown won it all in 1980. He's come from behind against Arkansas. He's come from behind against Kentucky. And now he's going to have to do it again against this Houston club if they're going to stay in it. There's something about Billy Thompson kind of interesting little trivia. His favorite show is Nightline. Six-point game. Oh, almost hit Drexler. And how did he realize that Franklin was behind him? Sees the whole floor. A little spread out here. Elijah Wan looking for the lob. Rex are kind of directing things right now. Young, off to the team. Wasn't exactly a lot, but he got a, he got a dunk anyway. 17 points for the Nigerian. 82-74. Again, Mr. Naismith's idea that he didn't want the ball to be slammed through the hoop isn't working out too well today. Billy Thompson back out to Scooter. They can't exchange baskets now much longer, the way the time is. And they've got to get some steals. Probably try to put Houston on the foul line some the rest of the way. Nice move. Thompson, rebound. He just took it away from Rodney McRae. Elijah on with 19 rebounds. Franklin ought to pull it back out, and he wisely does. He needs some help. They're counting time on him, and he threw it away. No, he saved it. Young somehow kept from going backward with it. There's a steal by Thompson. was one of those freshman mistakes by Billy Thompson. It's still Louisville's ball, but Billy Thompson. Well, that was a nice job by his teammates to come over and slap him on the back. And Denny Crump, look at Denny Crump. This is a nice job. Now, you see Billy Thompson lose that. All he had to do was lay it up. And Denny Crump is clapping and saying, okay, Billy, get back in the game. Now, 
you know the kid's down far enough. And as a coach, instead of getting on him, hey, he knows he made a mistake. You kept him up a little bit. Made a heck of a play just to swipe the ball. Here he goes again. Rebound, Young. Rexer off to Geddes. As opposed to the first game today, when Georgia was double teaming the short guards from NC State, they couldn't throw it over the top of the double team. With Houston, they merely throw it over the top. Did you see that by Scooter? How did he intercept that one? Here is Gordon. Over a came. 82-76. And Dunk looks big now, doesn't yes, it? it does. It could be down to four points. Drexler takes off. Here's Benny Anders. Out to Drexler, and they're going to play keep away. I think Louisville ought to start fouling because this has been a, a problem for Houston all year long. Commit some fouls, put some people on the line. Not, Not Geddes, so Geddes is the right. one that hit 10 of 10 against Boston and, College last year. And can aggressively go for the ball and put some Houston players on the foul line. Anders. I don't think that they have got the foul at this point. Elijah 19 points. Down to Gordon, a minute 45. Gordon rejected by King. Elijah with six rejections. Young. Danny Crump's got to call a timeout now. He's got to get a time. He has got to get the time. A 10 point game. Timeout call. Look at Young. Young is down at center circle. He is so tired. He squatted down. We'll be back after this timeout. Now coming to the game for the first time for Houston is Derek Giles, number 10. Probably putting three guards in the game, realizing that Louisville has got to start fouling. That's off of Houston. Jones getting up. 121 left. What a collection of athletes on the floor at the same time. Gordon, tough shot. Eight-point game. Here comes the pressure. Gordon was 17 for the day. Now, that's the smart thing by the official. He put the ball on the floor. Houston must go get it. They just get it in. There's the man who just checked in, Giles. They fouled him. Now, Giles has only shot 18 free throws this year, hitting nine of them. <laughs> and that was uh, fortunate. The foul, I believe, was called on, on Rodney, or was it Scooter? That's his fourth. So both brothers have four fouls. And at the line will be Giles. Now, Giles is a transfer from Lee Junior College in Texas. He started five games this year for Houston when they were searching, searching rather, for that fifth guy. Franklin eventually doing the job for him. And look at foul shot. And this is what we're going to see the rest of the way. Louisville making Houston prove they can win it from the foul line. But there's not a lot of time to go. Wagner scores. Timeout, Louisville. Oh, and a big push. Who is that going to be on? If it's on Geddes, that'll put uh, Louisville on the line with a one and one. I believe it's going to be Geddes. Yes, yes sir. It is. Basket counts. Geddes there. And so Houston uh, puts Louisville on the line for a one and one. Big play here. A six point game now. Rodney McRae at the line. And Denny Crum, I'm sure, has instructed his team to foul immediately. He's getting ready to send in two players here in a moment. You know what they're coming in for, don't you? Yep. Oh, tough break for Louisville. Two of eight for the line is Rodney McRae. Here's Franklin, saves it somehow. Off to Akeem. They've got the seconds. foul. They've got the foul. Drexler's not letting him get close to it. Big mistake by Louisville. And the clock is running. Elijah on with 21 points. Here's Gordon. Junior. Jones is there. They don't want to foul him. Jones can't get the ball in. Anders. Here comes Benny. Everyone by themselves. What a show. Jones at the other end. He's fouled by Elijah Wad. Elijah Wad just smiling down there. I'm glad fans had a chance to see him. On that little interview, he speaks with an English accent. Played some game today. The bench of Houston has really delivered today, hasn't it? Anders is one of those. Guy Lewis just grabbing that towel over there. He's so nervous. This will be the first time he's ever been in the Final Four. 
despite all of those wins. 500. Over 500 wins as a coach. There's Jones again. A little tired with that shot. Yeah, seconds left to go, 90-81. Gary, when Louisville had 40-some seconds to go, they had Rodney McRae on the line, had a chance to cut it to four, and then commit it to foul. So that's going to be a two-shot. Chris West is the guy that commits the foul. They sent him in just to commit the foul. There wasn't in any foul difficulty, obviously. And Anders will go to the line. Now Wagner will come back in, as will Scooter McRae. Try to get a shot up. They had Robbie Valentine in the ball game also to commit the foul. And the first time they came in the ball game, they didn't get the foul quickly enough. This would be the 26th win in a row for this Houston team. Their school record, interestingly enough, is 31. And that was the great Alvin Hastings. Anders with 12 points, and they've all been spectacular. Foul here. Rejected by Elijah. Three, two, 